Now it's finally time to talk about Diffie-Hellman key generation algorithm. This algorithm was developed in 1976 by two people and uh, it was named by their names, so Diffie and Hellman. And uh, this algorithm allows you to generate uh, keys over insecure public connection. Let me explain you how this happens in this and in the next lectures. Okay, so let's suppose that there are two sites, let's suppose web browser and web server. But in fact, uh, those two sites can be any two computers in the world. And let's suppose that uh, those sites are connected over internet, over insecure connection. And all packets uh, in internet, of course, can be intercepted by anyone, like we do, for example, using Wireshark, and uh, those packets uh, may be analyzed, and if intercepted data contains some sensitive information, it can be used uh, for some harmful purposes. Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm allows to generate on both sides same keys, but in such a way that nobody can generate same key as was generated on both sides. Of course, there is a sequence of packets that are sent between two sides on this phase, but key itself is not sent. And you may ask me how it works, how both sides can generate key, but no one else can generate same key as those sides. Answer is that uh, in Diffie-Hellman algorithm we use so-called one-way functions. And in a one-way function, even if you know result of that function, you are not able to retrieve parameters that were used inside of the function. And that's what is used in Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm. After key was generated on both sides, it can be used, for example, for data encryption, and that's exactly what happens in TLS protocol. There is standard Diffie-Hellman algorithm that uh, utilizes mod operation and mod is considered as one-way function and there are modifications of Diffie-Hellman algorithm that uh, utilize elliptic curve cryptography. And uh, in the next lectures we will talk about both variants. And let's start with uh, standard Diffie-Hellman algorithm that utilizes mod operation. Let's discuss that algorithm in the next lecture. Bye-bye.